guys, so today's video is going to be a get to know me tag and it's basically going to be, let me figure it out how many questions there are, it's going to be 20 questions all about me so you guys can get to know a little bit more about what I'm about basically. So I'm going to start off with question number one which is, I'm going to be looking down at my phone quite a lot because all the questions are on here so Question number one is what am I wearing? And I am wearing this yellow jumper which is from Primark. You probably have seen it in so many of my videos recently because it's my favourite jumper to wear at the moment. I'm also wearing it with this lovely necklace which I got from Berry. I'm loving this combo. I actually wore this with a really nice metallic skirt. I'll insert the picture from my blog now. It's basically my favourite outfit at the moment and today I'm wearing it with jeans. Just some plain standard jeans but I tend to also wear it with, like I said, that really nice metallic -y skirt which I am loving. Question number two is how old am I? I am 26. I turned 26 on the 28th of November so I'm 26 and like a month. Is that right? Yeah, 26 and a month. So yeah, kind of getting old, scary. Question number three is favourite dessert forward slash snack. I'm going to answer both. Favourite dessert is banoffee pie, hands down. I love banoffee pie, it's literally the best thing in the world. And favourite snack is hummus with kettle chips. I know that's really hippie-ish and really kind of like veggie but I love it, it's like my comfort food and whenever I feel down or I'm watching like a movie and I want snuggle time then I will totally go for crisps and dips. I kind of believe I just said snuggle time, is that really lame? Maybe I'm a lame person. Moving on. Favourite online store? That's a hard one. I'm going to go for ASOS. I just have to, it's like the all time kind of good general online store and they always have everything you need and relatively decent prices. Everything that I've bought from ASOS, like all my timeless pieces that I adore, I've got from there. So I'm going to have to say that's my favourite online online store. If you were a TV show character, who would you be? It's got to be Meredith Grey from Grey's Anatomy. I haven't actually been watching it recently, I'm going to be totally honest with you. Because after they killed off Lexi, I was like, hell no. But it's just, there's something about it and I just kind of want to be her. I want to be her. I really genuinely do. I love her so much. And yeah, favourite TV. Day favourite TV character, hands down. Tell us a secret about you. Um, well, the general secret that I tell everyone else is that I have a YouTube channel and a blog. And they're like, really? So I can't tell you that secret because obviously you know it because you're watching me on YouTube. Um, I have two guinea pigs. One of which is called Piglet, he's a little baby guinea pig, and one is called Tuft, and he's a much bigger guinea pig, but he's really, really cute as well. That's not a really exciting, juicy secret, though. Yeah, I can't really think of any really fun, exciting secrets. The guinea pigs are going to have to do for now. If I think up any more fun secrets, I will let you guys know. Meaning behind my YouTube name. Now, I actually chose the name Dizzy Miss Lizzy uh, for a online like vintage store me and my mum were going to do together and I got the name Dizzy Miss Lizzy from a Beatles song because the Beatles are one of my favourite all time bands so yeah that's the meaning behind my lovely YouTube name and also I am always dizzy <laughs> like genuinely I always get dizzy I always feel ill and I get dizzy so it's kind of apt for me Dizzy Miss Lizzy I think Question number eight is favourite thing to do on a lazy day. It's got to be film. I know that's really lame guys, isn't it? But it has to be, has to be filming. That's kind of any day that I have free, I film or I write a blog post. And if it's not that, if I'm really trying to like have some proper downtime, it would be sitting in a bed in my pajamas, watching YouTube videos or watching something like The Big Bang Theory or Grey's Anatomy or Sherlock or Luther or Sunday brunch. I love Sunday brunch. Favourite song at the moment? It's got to be Uptown Funk, 100%. Uptown Funk. Yeah. It's just so good. It's so good and I just want to dance to it. Whenever I hear it, I'm like, I need that song to be on loop so I can dance to it in my bedroom, in the car, on a stage, anywhere. I need it to be on constantly. My favourite thing about being a YouTuber is got to be viewers and subscribers. Like, chatting to you guys is something that I really enjoy doing. And I think in addition, it's actually meeting new people. Like, you get to meet and 
converse with so many different people when you're when you're on like online in the way that, that people that do YouTube are. Like you meet other YouTubers that do things slightly differently and you can collaborate and you can get really good ideas and yeah, I think that's probably one of the, the best things about being on YouTube and one of the things I love the most about being a YouTuber. My best self-confidence tip. I know everyone says it, but it's just try and love yourself for who you are because at the end of the day, if you don't love yourself, then it's gonna be really hard for other people to, to accept you for who you are. Just be confident in yourself and be happy with, with you. What makes me happy? My family, my little sisters, um, my mum, my dad, my stepmom, and my two little guinea pigs and my boyfriend. I think they're generally the things that make me happy. And also my best friend Sasha because she's a legend and she always cheers me up. What's number one on your bucket list? Something like climbing the Andes or walking the Great Wall of China. I think they're probably bucket list things for me. Um, I like kind of fun extreme type things. Bucket list stuff I think needs to be more extreme and it's got to be something like that. Like visiting Machu Picchu in Peru or something similar. Definitely. Who's your YouTube girl crush? It's got to be hands down Essie Button. I just love her so much. She's so down to earth and she's so funny on all of her videos and she's so beautiful and I just really think that she is so herself all of the time and I just love her for it so she's definitely my YouTube girl crush. What's your guilty pleasure? I don't really have a guilty pleasure. I suppose it could be something like desserts. I do quite like eating sweet desserts like a galaxy bar or a ripple. <laughs> I do always eat like chocolatey kind of desserty type things and I really need to stop and that's probably my guilty pleasure. And I can have like two a day, how bad is that? And I'm complaining about having a slightly more chubby face. That's probably why Sophie, you're eating too many ripples. One beauty product you can't live without. If it's not gonna be my Nasha Glow, I would have to say it is my Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion. I don't think I could live without that if I'm being totally honest because it's just freaking amazing and it's such a lifesaver and it makes my eyeshadow stay on for like ever. So it's got to be something I could not live without. One item in your wardrobe that you can't live without. It's got to be warm jumpers and at the moment I'm going to probably say this and I've got an orangey kind of one and if not that then maybe my barber jacket because I wanted it for so long and then when I finally had it I was like you're gonna last me forever basically and I don't think I could ever live without you being in my wardrobe. Twitter, Instagram or Pinterest, which is my favourite? My favourite's got to be Instagram. I love looking at people's pictures and putting pictures up myself and kind of interacting with people on Instagram. I think it's a fantastic social media platform and you can follow me here and I am Sophie underscore Victoria so get following me and liking my pictures and I will follow you back and like your pictures too. Number 19, the reason I joined Bloggers Hub. I joined because I wanted to get in contact with other bloggers and other companies out there that want to get their own products out as well. I think it's a fantastic platform for new businesses and new sort of fashion beauty businesses to actually get their products out because sometimes they maybe wouldn't get the opportunity to and it means that us bloggers and YouTubers can help them as well. And it's just a fun way to build new relationships with new people and you guys and new businesses and it's just hunky dory. And question number 20 is do your favourite selfie pose. So I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. See you later, bye!